All right, another video for you PSP people. Um, I'm going to show you how to quickly update to 5.50 Gen B2 custom firmware. Easy way. Ugh. So many steps. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> yeah. So uh, let's get to it with the updating. So uh, this is 5.50 Gen B2 custom firmware. I will have the link provided underneath more information for you guys on the side of this video. And that's about it. So let's get to the installations. All right. So the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's PSP Gen's uh, custom firmware 5.50 Gen B2.zip. Double click on that and open that up. If you don't have an extraction program, just right click on it and say extract all to your desktop. And inside here you will see a PSP folder. Open that up. You will see the game folder. Open that up. And you will see the 5.50 Gen B2 update. And if you open that up, you will see an eboot.pbp and a flasher.prx. Go back to you see the 5.50 Gen B2 update. Open up my computer and uh, oh, wait, hold on, cancel that step. <laughs> um, first things first, <laughs> back to the PSP real quick. All right, so here's the PSP. Um, you need to be on custom firmware 5.50 Gen B full in order to do this. So, uh, as you can see, that's my firmware right now. So, we're just going to go back and I'm going to connect the USB cable to the PSP here and then come back to the, PS uh, the PC. All right, back at the PC, we're going to open up my computer now and open up the removable drive for your PSP. Open up the PSP folder and then open up the game folder in PSP's memory stick. And oh, I'll delete that. I don't need that. Um, come to your extraction program or your extracted files and simply just drag and drop this folder, the 5.50 Gen B2 update folder. Drag and... No, fucking moron. Drag and drop that into the PSP's memory stick root or the uh, PSP game folder in your PSP memory stick and you will see that it is there voila and exit this now exit that minimize that and come back to the PSP all right back at the PSP we're gonna exit USB mode here and I'm gonna unplug this USB cable just because I don't need it and simply all I'm gonna do now is scroll over to the games and the memory stick and you will see the PSP gen 5.5 jet 0 gen b2 updater start that up hooray And PSP Gen quick update tool. Please wait, I need to work. That's all it's gonna say, right in that corner. Finish with success. And now if we scroll over to the system settings and system information, you will see that it says 5.50 Gen B full. Now just to let you guys know, on a PSP 1000 model, it will not read the 5.50 Gen B uh, two for some reason. No, nobody understands why, but this is on 5.50 Gen B2. Just to let you know, um, I don't understand why it doesn't show it. It just doesn't. Um, but again, it is updated. Just to let you know. Um, but PSP 2000 models will say 5.50 Gen B2 for custom firmware. Just to let you know. So I don't know why it does that again, but it is updated. So yeah, that's how you update to 5.50 Gen B2. Uh, again, with the PSP 1000 models, it will not say it for some reason, something to do with the registry hookups. Um, but uh, other than that, it is updated. Uh, your PSP 2000 will show it. Uh, this is not a firmware for the PSP 3000 models or the 2000 version 2 models, just to let you know. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Enjoy the new firmware. If you got any questions, leave me a comment. Send me a message on my channel uh, if you have any recommendations for any other videos leave me a comment on my channel page as well and uh, other than that again i will have the link for this on the side of this video located underneath more information for you guys and stay updated subscribe to my channel and yeah that's about it that's all i gotta say so uh i'll see you guys later